three new drivers from Cobra, the LTD X line. Me and Thomas Campbell today are going to break down those drivers for you in this edition of the Swing Report. If you want to hear our final thoughts on these drivers, skip to the final chapter of this video. But regardless, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel right now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another edition of The Swing Report. My name is Michael Geiger, and I'm here with Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter at the Minnetonka location of Second Swing. Thomas, today we have three new drivers from Cobra, Cobra the LTD-X, the LTD-X Max, and the LTD-X LS. What is your kind of first impressions of these drivers based on kind of your experience with Cobra and just kind of their appearance? Well, first off, that's quite the mouthful. Yes. Oh, there's a lot of abbreviations going on here. but. My first impression is, is a lot of, as a club fitter, looking at the adjustable options. We've still got the adjustable options, but it's very unique how Cobra's done it. And we've got the three different heads, and two of the three heads, you've got these adjustable weights. But they're done a little bit differently. They've got the same grams in, 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 the, in the weights, but you can slide, put them in the heel, put them in the back, or put them forward, but also towards the toe or towards the heel. So I'm still liking the fact we've got adjustable options in a very, very hot driver head. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you mentioned the adjustability. That's a big difference. One thing that's kind of the same for all three drivers is kind of two of Cobra's big kind of innovations this year, and that is power core technology and hot face technology. Now that is, the, the power core is really, they're using three different metals in the face to, to really boost, they're putting the weight forward and low, and they're really trying to create a hot face with low spin. And then the hot face technology is these 15 hot zones that they've used uh, uh, artificial intelligence to kind of locate around the face to, again, kind of boost distance. So it seems like, like most drivers do, kind of distance is a big part of this new driver. Yeah, the power core, they've got steel, titanium, and aluminum. So actually, we've got a driver here that's kind of broken down here, and we can kind of see the, see the difference. So it is a got a couple of different metal options here that just, that's put together on the inside, but it's pushed forward in the driver head. Mm -hmm. So it's pushed forward and, you know, the idea is to keep that spin rate low and all the driver heads have that extra added lower spin, but also extra ball speed mm -hmm. as well with them. Okay, yeah. And I think as you've mentioned, kind of the same, a similar face, CNC milled face uh, to past drivers. So really not a huge aesthetic change from past versions. Right, but the hot face. But yes. the, we've, got to, we've got to talk about that. And I think, you know, Callaway, they really took off with artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. And, you know, putting my, putting my finger on rubbing on the, on, the, on the face here, it's got 15 hot spots on it. So the idea here is, you know, they've, they've used artificial intelligence to really help define and make the driver so much hotter in, on those off-center hits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, there are a numerous amount of stock shaft options for these drivers, all of which you are likely seeing on the screen right now. Most of the options uh, tend to kind of vary, land in kind of the 9 and 10.5 degree loft options, which are kind of the most common uh, choices for golfers, although there are some that are specific to the 9, the 10.5, and the 12. Thomas, ideally these drivers are going to be for three different golfers. Uh, are you ready to hit them and find out uh, kind of where they fall out, where they stack out? Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. Those, those three different golf shafts you were kind of talking about, we, you know, we've got the, the Tenzai White. That's going to be your lower spinning, low launch, low spinning shaft. We also got the Hazardous IM10. That shaft has been out for a couple of years now. That's going to be kind of in the, in the middle. It's just a little bit softer a little bit lighter, so it's gonna be in that kind of that mid spin. Mm -hmm. And then you talked about like the 12 degree head. Yep. So it's more of a stock option than the 12 degree. You know, you can always get it in a nine degree if you fit into that particular profile. But we've got the helium shaft there as well. So okay. these are the three ones that are gonna be offered. There's also plenty of other options that you can get custom as well. Uh, I'm excited to hit some shots. You know, one thing I'll, I'll talk about is the adjustability with, with these club heads is you've got 10 and three mm -hmm. gram weights. So with the LT, the X Max um, model, you've got the, the weight that you can put in the heel or towards the back. So right. you, can, you can flip flop them 10 and, 10 and 3. And then also with the LTD X LS, those two weights are pushed forward. They're the same weight, but you can put them towards the toe or towards the heel, depending on a player's bias or what they're looking for in the right. game. But so a draw, fade, or a draw fade bias versus kind of a neutral draw bias with the LTD X Max. Yeah, correct. LTD X Max. You know, LS, you can always make it a little bit more fade bias and very, very low spinning head with those weights pushed forward. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think uh, it's time to hit them. Let's hit some bombs. Let's do it.
All right, Thomas, first up, the LTDX Max driver. Now, you've got the weight, the 10 gram weight, kind of in the back, so about as neutral as it gets, but this should, in theory, still be sort of a draw bias driver, right? Yeah, at address, when I put it down, it definitely looks like it sits like it's a little bit closed compared to the other two models. Okay. Yeah, so, and actually, believe it or not, even with having, you know, I'm trying to match up the lofts on these. Initial testing, we only have a 10.5 degree head mm -hmm. of, the, of the LTDX Max. The other two are nine. So I'm actually put this at minus 1.5. We know that's going to open up the face a little bit. But right. even with that, I'm still seeing a little bit more drawer setting at address. It okay. just looks like it looks a little bit more closed, a little more upright. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's see how it performs. All right. I mean, first things first, that is. That's a loud sound. I think even relative to other drivers, that's, that seems pretty audible. Yeah, I think what I've noticed with the, with the Cobra LTD drivers compared to the others that have come out in 2022, I think it's the loudest of the three. Okay. Comparing it to say Callaway and, and TaylorMade, mm -hmm. I think this driver still is lou the loudest of them. Okay. Yeah. I hit that pretty well, might be a little left, yeah. Oh, the draw is showing its bias. Yeah. That was pretty quick left. There's a lot of curve. <laughs> that might be a little combo of user as well, but that's just me not used to having it sitting, For sure. sitting down Absolutely. with a little closed face. Yeah, I would have to agree. It seems pretty loud. Definitely. I'm also noticing, you know, for, for me, I do it, you know, for my attack angle being pretty, pretty far up mm -hmm. with the driver, I'm still seeing a decent amount of spin with this. So this yeah. model is spinning a little bit more, and it'd be interesting to see how the lower spinning models compare. Yeah, we'll definitely compare those. That was it pretty well. That was pretty high. Fairly but yeah. ideal. Yeah, 296 carry, that's pretty good. I think that the noticeable thing here is the, just the ease of being able to draw the ball. Yeah, for sure. And just seeing every single time him that thing turn over. That one there, my face to path was 0, 0.0 right there. But it still curves 60 feet to the left. For sure. And I think even anecdotally, it seemed like as you get more comfortable with the look, it seems like your shots have kind of straightened out a little bit. Well, I think as a, as a human, you're, you're going to react. If you, uh, like that second or third shot I hit, mm -hmm. it was pretty far left. I'm like, I'm, I don't like seeing that. So I probably intentionally maybe pushed it out to the right a little bit. But s still, the ball was curving left every for sure. single time. Yep. Um, looking down at it, for me, you know, it definitely looks like an oversized head look, mm -hmm. looking down at. I'd say from heel to toe is more, I guess it's larger this way as opposed to from, from the top to the bottom of the mm -hmm. driver. It just seems like it's a shallower version compared to the other two. Which it seems like for a driver that in theory is kind of aimed at, at middle and higher handicap golfers, that kind of large confidence inspiring profile will be a positive. Right. Well, let's hit the LTD X head next. Let's do it. All right, Thomas, in your hands, you've got the LTD X driver. Now, as you mentioned earlier, this driver in theory should kind of, should, should be for the widest variety of golfers. Uh, there's no adjustability in this driver, fixed weights. But the, so the, a lot of the draw bias in theory should be pretty gone. What does it look like kind of looking down at it? Do you see the face sitting a little more neutral? Yeah, it's definitely a more neutral position. It's, it's not closed like the LTD Max is. Mm -hmm. um, and it just looks like it sits pretty neutral. But it, it looks a, like a pretty similar shape to the LTD Max. Okay. Yeah. I think, yeah, it just sits a little bit, little bit more neutral. As we talked about, you know, there's no adjust adjustability, so the weight's pushed all the way back. It's going to be a very, very high, forgiving driver. Okay. Well, as we mentioned, the same power core technology, the same hot face technology. Let's see how the numbers compare. All right. It's a very, very straight bull fly That's, there. Uh, straight as train smoke. <laughs> Four feet of curve. Not quite That's perfectly straight, you pushed but it. Yeah. <laughs> like another good one there, too. A little nine yard draw. We'll take that. Being a draw player, I'd be very happy That's with perfect. that. That's perfect. Right in the window. I don't feel like I hit that one as well. 
Yeah, I was a little lower on the face. A little Still lower. Still a pretty good miss, though. I mean, spin rate stayed fairly solid. Stayed pretty solid there. They've all been actually, you know, the low 2000s, all three swings. Mm -hmm. I left the face a little open on that. Oh, that spin consistency so far, though, considering the last shot I pulled to the left, yeah. and that one then I pushed to the right. That spin rate, it's I'm looking at the plus or minus number. I'm probably going to jinx it for the fifth <laughs> shot, but I'm looking at that plus or minus number there at 40. Yeah. It's incredible. No, it seems like it's really kind of almost a magnet towards that 2200 for you. Right. Did that pretty well. Yeah, I mean, plus or minus 69 with the, uh, the spin consistency, I think that's... We gotta take a look at those numbers because I, I want to see those, those five shots and see that those spin rate on those five shots. Let's do just that. Okay, so 22, 22, 21, 78, 22, 85, and then the, the last two, if we scroll up just a little bit, 22, 05, 20, 75. It's very consistent. That's, I like that a lot. Yeah, that's, I mean, for so someone that's really hoping for precision and wants to trust their spin number, I mean, it's really hard to argue with that. I mean, that's almost identical five shots in a row. Right, yeah, and it, it seemed like on average it was a pretty straight bull flight too. I don't know if we maybe pull up the dispersion and maybe just compare the two of them there. Yeah, I mean, a little bit straighter. We would notice LTD, X, Max, a little bit further there to the left, yep. and this one just seemed like it was flying a little bit I mean, straighter. That hint of draw bias is aside, it's, it's pretty, uh, pretty consistent. Yeah. All right, so, you know, we know I like to, you know, hit, hit bombs yep. and go for a little lower spinning head. So I'm always intrigued with the lower spinning head to see if it actually does spin less or it gives me a little bit more ball speed or inspires a little more confidence for me to go after a little bit more. Well, that's a perfect segue. Let's try out the LTD X LS. <laughs> All right. So for, for this testing piece, I'm just going to leave it where, where it came. It's mm -hmm. actually got the 10 gram weight slightly in the heel. It's got the three gram weight slightly on the, on the toe side. So okay. technically, I guess you consider it slightly more draw bias. You could always put the weight on the, on the toe side there too. Mm -hmm. So you can flip flop two weights, but you'll notice they're actually a lot closer together okay. as opposed to the, the max head, which you know, they're a lot further apart. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see how it performs. Well, pretty straight again. The 11 left. <laughs> I feel like I hit that slightly low on the face or maybe just slightly healy looking at the smash factor. I'm curious actually, before I hit these last few shots, you wanna just pull up the, dis the hit location on both of those clubs just at, out of curiosity to see where we were at. So this is the shot, last shot that I hit mm -hmm. and it's exactly what I thought. It was just slightly low heel. But even still, that spin rate, you know, under 2,200 for where I hit that on the that face. That seems to be the magic number for these yeah, cover drivers so for you. If I can move that to the other quadrant, to the up in the slightly high toll, this spin rate should drop and be more in the optimal numbers what I'm okay. seeing. Okay. There's the low spinner there. 1,600. That's always nice to look at the hit location and see where you're at, because if you're just a little bit off, it can definitely affect those spin rates. That's one of the benefits of this tour van. You can really, really dial it in. Right. Ah, that was a bad swing. <sighs> Not bad, though, I guess. Two-yard push. I'm, I'm, I'm frustrated <laughs> with the shot. Yeah. But I'm... Pleasantly surprised with the, the miss hit. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. you know, I think there's some viewers at home that might be frustrated at your frustration <laughs> because uh, it's not it's not too shabby. Yeah, I mean, it's three shots in a row where my smash factor has been one four seven. Mm -hmm. I know I'm leaving it a little bit on the on the table. Yep. It's early in the year for me. Just haven't maybe done enough practice. Maybe. But, uh, it's it's still performing really well even though I haven't quite caught in the middle. For sure. Let's see if I can find the middle of these last couple. Let's try it. There we go. I jumped that smash factor up by 0 0.01. There so you go. It had to be better. We notice the ball speed number increased. Yep. And then the spin dropped, and then the carry distance you know, was up. So was the total distance. There you go. Yeah. That's that hot, low spinning technology that Cobra promises. Right. Good ball speed there. 
One there we go. I think that's a great one to finish on. Zeroed out the club path. That makes me really happy. So it's, it's interesting there, face to path, 0 0.3, with yep. about seven feet of curve. It's easier to hit straight. It's not going to be as draw bias as the, as the other two. Are. Right. Yeah. That's probably the driver of the three. It's probably closest to your gamer. In terms of kind of look, sound, does it all check out as some, a driver that you could, in theory, see yourself playing as kind of a, a lower handicap player? Yeah, I mean, they're all 460 cc's, but they're just shaped slightly different. Mm -hmm. This one, more compact, probably taller from the bottom of the club to the, to the crown. Well, the other two are just a little bit larger from the heel to the toe. Right. And, and this, for me, inspires the look that I like to look down at. Just mm -hmm. a little bit more appealing on the eye. All right, makes sense. Yeah. Well, let's look at the numbers and see how the three of them performed. Let's check them out. So, kind of joking around on hit location a little bit. Yep. I think it's pretty fair to say this is, this is a great test comparing all three of them because my hit location was very, very similar. Definitely. Right let's take a look at them. So, LTD Max, you can see... Yeah, very close to the middle. We're talking three millimeters, four millimeters away from the center. Yep. Uh, we click here, three millimeters, one millimeter away from the, from the center, and then uh, pretty much the middle. I, it's interesting with the LTD XLS how it was just slightly low of center. Mm -hmm. We're talking one millimeter. Yeah. But even still, I think this is important to note because if you catch the ball lower on the face with the, with the driver, it's only going to spin a little bit more. Mm -hmm. When you take a look at the spin rate with the LTD XLS, you notice it's actually the lowest spinning of the three. Right. So even with hit location slightly low, it was spinning less. And I think it's a great takeaway. That's a good point. I think so many people at home think that golf, like many things, is a game of inches. But as you're pointing out, it, sometimes it's a game of millimeters. So that's why, again, it kind of plays into the importance of getting in and getting fit, because these are fractional differences that actually make a big difference. Right. It makes a, it makes a huge difference. Diving a little deeper into the numbers, um, we kind of noticed that your ball speed and efficiency numbers were all very, very similar, yep. 147 to 148. Because I was catching it slightly low on the face, that's why that efficiency of 147 was a little lower than the other two. But even still, we're talking 167, 167, 168 mile, yep. mile an hour ball speed. Uh, slightly lower launch with the LTD XLS by about half a degree. And then we're seeing the spin with the LTD X and LTD X Max, about the same. You know, talking in 21, 2200. Yep. LTD XLS, you know, 1850. So. It's quite, you know, that's what, 300 RPMs less, less yeah, spin. That's, sure. that's noticeable. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, you take a look at, you know, distance wise, you see that I was slightly shorter with the LTDX Max, but that's because the ball was going a little bit left. When the ball goes left, it's going to get on the ground faster. Right. So that's why I lo lost a little bit of carry distance there. LTDX was 291 going 314. LTDX LS 293 going 321. Just releasing out a little bit more because it had a little less spin on it. Right. Yeah. But you, know, you can see it's flying just a little bit lower. I love that height trajectory there. So that landing angle at 36.7, very, very good for a, for a driver. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's going to optimize your carry and your total distance rollout. Right. I mean, they're all very good as long as that spin rate stays, stays down. Right. And I was optimizing some, some great numbers there. It seems like the LTDX and LTDX Max, a lot of similar numbers, they're kind of in one bucket. And then the LTDX LS is kind of a different tier where if you really want that low spinning head, as the name suggests, that's really where you want to go instead of the other two. Right, yeah, I mean, I'm definitely drawn to that the low spinning head. because Who doesn't want to hit, the, hit, it, hit it far? High and, bombs. <laughs> high bombs, right? And I was still able to get their bull up in the air, uh, you know, over 100 feet in the air. Um, you know, attack angle numbers, you know, six degrees up with all of them. So. Great, you know, great, great shots. I think it's, it's noteworthy looking at the amount of curve that we're seeing on the LTD X Max. You know, 89 feet of curve to the left. Yep. Well, the other two, we're talking one feet or 10 feet for average curve. I'm a golfer that likes to hit a slight little drawer, and that's a slight little drawer. There you <laughs> go. Yeah. So if we take a look at the dispersion screen, we can probably see that, you know, LTD X LS and uh, LTD X just, you know, slightly, slightly straighter. LTD X Max slightly towards the left. So that's a great club for people that do fight that slice. Definitely. There's probably golfers at home that have not seen the left rough in years. So I think that dispersion <laughs> might actually uh, encourage a lot of people. Right. And just inspire confidence to know there's a club out there for them that might just help get that club face to turn over a little bit easier. Right. All right. We are done with testing. You ready to give your final thoughts? Let's do it.
All right, Thomas, you've had a chance to hit all three Cobra LTD-X drivers. First impression, well, really final impressions of these drivers. Yeah, so, I mean, all three of them fit into different categories for different types of golfers. And let's start with the, the lower spinning, the LTD-X LS. It's going to be uh, your lower spinning, more workable driver. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be quite as forgiving as the other two when you have the weight push forward. So it's going to be for those faster, faster golfers that you know can hit the ball fairly straight. Yep. So it's going to be for your lower handicap golfers, and I think this fits into you know twenty percent of the to the market. Okay. Is where I put this at, at the top twenty percent. Those the guys the guys are looking for that that extra ability to keep the spin rate down, also work the ball and a maybe a little more tour inspiring club head. Right. And then the LTD X. You kind of hinted earlier. You thought it was kind of in that Goldilocks zone, maybe for the widest amount of golfers. Do you still kind of believe that after hitting it? Yeah. It's it's still the the, the straightest one okay. out of them all. I think it's just having the weight pushed back with it. You know, it's you don't always have to play around with the driver weights. Having a driver that's very, very forgiving on, on off-center hits and also you know, having that MOI increased, I, I still think the majority of golfers will fit into this particular model. For those golfers that probably don't tinker as much, but just want to hit the ball high and straight. That's, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's plenty of them out there. Right. And now let's kind of wrap up with the LTDX Max, kind of the most draw biased. Um, I would, you know, kind of the most slice correcting driver of the three. Yeah, and when I was testing with it, I didn't have that heavier weight in the heel. And I think that's going to be huge for club fitters and for, for golfers that need that extra help to turn the ball over. We also haven't talked about you know, hosel adjustments there too. Mm -hmm. You can make the club a little bit more upright with the, with the Cobra adjustment sleeve. You also can put the loft up and put the loft down to make you know, even more modifications there too. So if you put that weight in the heel with the LTD X Max, put it at say plus one degree D, so upright, mm -hmm. it's going to be a very draw bias club. So it's going to be that other you know, 20, 30 percent of golfers that's looking for that extra help to negate that slice. Well, there you go. The Cobra LTD X drivers with a player like Bryson DeChambeau leading their stable. Cobra's always in the news, but as we've seen, they've got three new drivers coming out this year that will make news just on their performance alone. Thomas, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. Thank you.